Ah, well, I finally got my old BT phone through the uh, the post from eBay. I'm going to set away converting it to, uh, to take one of these radio modules. Oh. Hello? No, I haven't had an accident in the last five years. Can you just fuck off? Thanks. Bye. Right, where was I? Yeah, so I had a crazy, crazy idea to convert one of these old phones into having an FM radio put into it for some bizarre reason. You know, I'm obsessed with radios. So you'd have stereo speakers in there. And you can just undo these cups. There's the microphone. A couple of wires to the microphone. Green and red up to the earpiece. You just need to find a speaker that the same diameter as that. It'll fit into there. Screws on dead easy. It's already got a speaker grill. You just have to get one for the, the top. I'm fairly sure you can Oops. interchange them. No, you can't. Ah, different size. Okay, All right. So that changes the design then. Maybe with this one I'll have to put some holes round in, in there for the speaker. Yeah, so there's something for the design, the two different diameters. This is bigger than that. So yeah, anyway, whatever, I'm going to get two speakers into there one way or another. Yeah, just hardwired things. This is still... You can probably tell I faked that ringing sound. It's not damn things not even plugged in. This is the old connections to the box that would have been on your windowsill or something. And of course nowadays we have the, the modern white plugs, don't we? So this phone is original, I believe, and you'd have to open it up and do the conversion in the back of here. I'll take this thing to bits later on and have a look inside. So yeah, for the radio, you can see on this model, it's, it's got this square here that would have been, you can put a, a button in here or something, I'm pretty sure it was operator button or something, exchange button, direct link, various things you could put in there. So I saw this and I thought, well, I get these LCD FM modules you've seen me messing around with, and that square is looked like it was a similar size, but of course now you can see my screen's a lot bigger than that, isn't it? So either I'm going to have to obviously take this button holder out, it just pings out, maybe put the screen directly underneath it and you have to look down the gap to see what channel you're on, or <laughs> reluctantly have a way at this casing here above this um, cover and put it there. Obviously you're not going to see the green PCB, it's going to be hidden underneath. And the unit actually, oops, sorry, I'm so ham fisted. <laughs> yeah, so the unit sits that way. That's the right way up. So I've been trying to, um, my hands, tell you what, bend the screen. You see how I've angled the screen away from the back to, uh, the backlight. So I'm going to actually try and lever that up. With a Stanley knife. Like that bend it so it's right up so the screen will be up here something like that you've got this angle going on here it's quite a it's a bit of an, an angle going that way it's all curved and contoured smooth there's no square edges so <clears throat> yeah to open this up and find whatever way is it will work there without hacking the casing too much. Uh, so the other controls would be that you get your little finger in there or something and have a button. So you do your, see your finger in, do volume down, volume up. It was one idea. If that doesn't quite work out, then maybe I'll have to have buttons around the side or something. I'm still working on this idea, so it's literally step by step. What's what can be done, what's workable, what doesn't work. 
how the hell do you put a radio and a phone for fuck's sake? It's a mad idea, you know. But you know me, I'm full of mad ideas. And when I get onto something, I'll just go for it to see if it can be done or not. But yeah, so planning. There we go. And if I completely fail and uh, I can't put a radio into this thing, then it's really easy to convert it to, you get a modern plug on the end of this wire. Simple bit of alteration inside the circuit and you can have it working on our modern telephone exchanges really easily. So there we go. Maybe get the phone radio. Never know. We'll see.